Great. We have seen so many photos of the smoke plume visible here this afternoon in northern Colorado. Uh, one of our viewers, Gary Chanel, took this picture on the west side of Greeley, looking to the uh, west, of course, toward the Cameron Peak fire that's burning about 40 miles west of Fort Collins. And, you know, a picture like that could be mistaken for a supercell thunderstorm moving over Weld County. But you look at the bottom and all that brown, it's certainly an indication that it's fall, not springtime. And that is all smoke that you're looking at, of course, coming from uh, the Cameron Peak fire that has really flared up with all of the wind. Uh, we're getting reports over in Morgan County as far east as Brush. They're seeing a lot of smoke. Diane checking in from there with 60 degrees. Phil Curry's in Franktown with zero smoke, 73. Certainly the farther south you are, the less smoke there is. In fact, you have to really be around Broomfield or Erie northward to find the smoke, and it is very thick in northern Colorado. I showed this map earlier. I wanted to bring it back. You can see where the moderate and heavy smoke plume is. It's going right from the fire straight east toward Fort Collins, Greeley, and then over here toward Fort Morgan. In Denver, it's difficult to even detect any smoke outdoors. Even the light smoke plumes are largely north of Denver. Take a look at how strong the wind has been. Berth had passed 104 mile per hour wind this morning. That's the equivalent of a Category 2 hurricane. Red Feather Lakes, not far from the fire, the Cameron Peak Fire, 73 mile per hour wind. That's almost hurricane force. So you put hurricane force wind together with the very dry conditions, the low relative humidity, it's just the recipe for fires to spread. And we are still concerned about the threat for new fire starts today, considering these conditions. It's breezy in most areas, again, especially north of Denver. A Boulder right now, 45 mile per hour wind gusts. Vail, it's very windy. It's windy up in Leadville. Most of the mountains and much of the eastern plains experiencing some very gusty wind. So no surprise, the red flag warning is in effect. This goes until 6 p.m. and includes pretty much the entire Denver metro area, Colorado Springs, Pueblo, all of southern Colorado, the uh, southwest region, Four Corners region, also included Durango and Cortez. Temperatures today topping out in the 50s and 60s in the mountains. This is our last real warm day in Denver as we get up near 80. There is a cold front to the north, and that's going to start bringing in the much cooler weather tonight. In fact, tomorrow morning we should be close to freezing in Denver. Last time we were below freezing in uh, the city has been more than a month. You have to go back to the 9th of September. Remember that snow we had after Labor Day? That's the last time most of us were below freezing. If you don't drop below freezing tonight into tomorrow morning, you should definitely do it tomorrow night into Friday morning. Tomorrow is going to be a cool day. Highs only in the 50s. It will feel like fall for sure. Most mountain towns topping out in the 40s tomorrow. And then here's the map for tomorrow night into Friday morning. Possibility of a hard freeze in some spots. Usually we define a hard freeze as below 28 degrees. Greece, Greeley and Fort Collins could get there. We could see a few teens in some areas. In Denver tomorrow night, we're looking at about 28 or 29. A couple of clouds around. We'll call it partly cloudy th for the rest of the today. The cold front that's going to bring this dramatic change our way is right near Cheyenne. It's about to cross over the uh, Colorado state line. Once it does, that cooler air starts to invade here late this afternoon into this evening. High pressure then starts to build in back behind the front. So Friday afternoon, we start warming up. But the dryness continues. I'm afraid this is going to be a completely dry cold front outside of maybe a renegade raindrop near the Wyoming and Nebraska state lines later today into tonight and maybe a snowflake or two in the mountains. That's it. Tomorrow, 57 and then back up to 68 after that very cold start Friday morning. Saturday afternoon, 74, turning cooler again on Sunday with the smallest of rain chances late Sunday into Sunday night. Britt.